In less than 365 days, I'm gonna be a millionaire. My goal is to earn $500,000. I'm gonna take my entire net worth and gamble it in Las Vegas. I'll walk inside the casino and head to the roulette table. I'm gonna take my entire net worth and put it on red or black. We either walk away with a million dollars or nothing at all. My net worth right now, $8,000. You're about to watch the journey from a piss poor child to a millionaire. As you are watching this, I'm currently on a flight to New Orleans. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome aboard. We're going to go over to Logan Airport. There is a restroom located in the back of the bus. So you might be like, Corey, why are you going to New Orleans? We were playing another tournament series. I'm well aware that we did this two weeks ago and I dusted $15,000. It's gonna be different this time, probably. I can't confirm that, actually. I'm only going to New Orleans for like three days. We're gonna play one tournament, 400 milli guarantee. We have three goals this year. One of them is to win a WSOP ring. I have a lot of other goals this year, by the way. This will be the journey of my lifetime. This is, I'm so fucking pumped, dude. It all started back in November. I earned $600 from YouTube in a month, and I was like, holy shit. What was the first thing I did? Went to the World Series of Poker and blew 15,000. <laughs> I did that all, banking on the fact that one day, at worst, it's a, an investment that'll 10X in time. Fast forward a calendar month on YouTube in the last 28 days. So it's working, but we're not done. I signed a contract to permanently delete my YouTube channel. This one that you're watching right now will be gone in 40 days under one condition. Back in November, I signed a contract that states, if I don't upload 56 videos in 90 days, my channel is permanently deleted. I am legitimately forced to daily vlog. And if I miss an upload, I permanently delete my channel. So not only am I gambling my net worth, I'm gambling my income, my safety net. I'm gambling my entire life, aside from life itself, which I would never gamble because this life is precious. We have an hour to kill before my flight, and I'm starving. We have four options. This kind of bar-looking place called Harpoon, which, like, what the f- Am I on Whale Watchers, dude? I know America, as a society, is getting pretty obese, but <laughs> to call a restaurant Harpoon feels a little out of pocket. Nothing wrong with a good old cup of joe, right? Number three needs no explanation. America runs on. Huh? <laughs> we gotta change that slogan. Logan International Airport runs on a dimly lit Duncan. I revised the statement for you. I've never heard of Corito in my entire life. And that's on me, that's my bad. Slam dunk decision. This place is better than Chipotle. Holy actual hell. 10 bucks for steak, rice, and everything in between. Attention to the terminal for those passengers traveling on flight 1098, service to Minneapolis. If you're on 1098, go to Minneapolis. Get your shit together. Look, you're only an idiot till you make it. In my mind, I'm already a multimillionaire with more money than I can possibly fathom what to do with. At this point in my life, I have an opportunity that I will never have again. I'm broke as shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna be broken a year. I'll be a millionaire and I'll have, I'll wipe my ass with Benjamin Franklin's. This is a really cool story. And so this is like the first chapter. I get to write my own book. And I think as the moment that I realized that, the moment that I realized that money isn't the meaning of life and to use money as a resource, I stopped running the rat race. And in that moment, I was truly free. Now I'm not saying blow all your money at the casino. I actually, the exact opposite. I don't sports bet. I don't play blackjack. I don't do roulette. I don't do any of that shit in the casino. They're all losing games and I would say, stay fucking far away from them, brother. But Corey, you're gambling your entire net worth for content. And number two, I just don't give a fuck about money. I think it'll be a really cool story. I'm living my life for the best story possible. I wouldn't recommend you gamble because don't expect to win. That's a disclaimer. With that being said, let's go gamble $500,000. Also, I get paid once a month by YouTube, so our net worth will go up by 8K on the 21st. You're gonna be able to follow every step of this journey. I'm gonna be transparent with my YouTube earnings, poker play, and everything in between.
Listen, Bharti, you tell me one time and one time, okay? What do you fuck your car? Brother, you're about to piss me off. You're talking to me like that. I spend all this time to I'm come glad. out and pick you up and you fucking give me attitude. Give me, give me your credit card information, Bharti. <laughs> That's the recorder visa. Tell me what, Bharti. Tell me what. You tell me what your record is, I give you $50 on Amazon. No, okay? listen, Bharti. I tell you what. You not tell me what. Oh, you talk, you talk. Very good, very good. <laughs> very, 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 very strong talk. Very, very strong, strong talk, Bharti. <laughs> where, where are you? Are where you? are you? Hello? <laughs> hey, bloke, where are you? I'm uh, just inside the parking garage waiting for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, buddy. I'm at zone two. If I don't see you, I'm going to have a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> all right, we're on our way, bud. We're oh, wait, do I have to walk anymore or just, just, nah, just sit here and look cute? Just sit there, sit your tight little ass there, and we'll be there in a second. Wow, I don't even know if I want to get in this car at this point. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll see you soon, Cupcake. Okay. Well, all right. I'm hanging up now. <laughs> Oh my god! Can you take me? Can you take me back to the entry? You don't speak English. They don't pay you enough for that. You're not bilingual. You guys are assholes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> then we drove 90 minutes from New Orleans to Biloxi in Mississippi. During the call ride, I called my friend Justin, who couldn't figure out how to. He's not a good chef. How do you fucking blunder that? That's the easiest meal to make. I made it. Legitimately in the entire world. <laughs> I'm coming in confident this series. How psychopathic do you have to be to put your entire net worth on a tournament when you've never even min cashed? And then we placed our first profit of the entire series. You oh, set the time, oh, oh, and I have to take it. Yeah, yeah, how fast? From that line? From that line to that second yeah. nutcracker. Wow, this is sick. Right? Let's do, um... That has to be at least 30 yards. I'll give you four seconds. Fuck me. I'll... Fuck 20 bucks. God, this motherfucker's hustling the fuck out of me. <laughs> He's like, God, four seconds. Oh my God. I think God, I got four no seconds. Way. That's close, though. Yeah. I'll take the under on four. All right. 20, 20. bucks. <laughs> God, he's... God, no, no, no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> Look at that. That is disgusting. I'm sick. <laughs> Three. The guy over there, he said, this kid can run. <laughs> God, we got excited. Oh my God. He does have a bed. Why is there four grown men in a bathroom with the door shut? So. <laughs> <laughs> relax, relax. What's your plans, Corey? Um. Plan right now is actually to see what this thing's all about. <laughs> yeah. mm. Hey, no cap, that thing's actually dope. No, not with the socks. Uh, with the socks, I got the. F can't take the dogs out of the night one. That'd be a little bit of a blunder. Imagine how many hookers have been fucked in that tub. Not enough. Mississippi <laughs> ones. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> Basically, the plan is I have 8.8k. We're gonna max fire the 400 tomorrow. Either go home a millionaire or not go home at all. I'm actually gonna drop myself in this tub. There's probably a toaster in the lobby that I will unplug and bring up to 23070 and just 